Hi, my name is Philip Ireland, um, Senior Manager for Worldwide Airport Slots uh, for International Air Transport Association, IATA. So today I'd like to tell you about the Airport Slot Coordination Policy and Regulation course. This is specifically developed for people who are in a position where they need to know about policy, um, strategy, uh, why certain principles and procedures and therefore legislation is to be put in place in a certain way. The reason to invest in attending this course um, is best explained when you think of the risk of incorrect policy or regulation being put in place. You can seriously disrupt um, an industry if you're a regulator. Alternatively, if you're an airport, you can seriously disrupt your airport operations if you jump to conclusions about the way things they should be without being fully informed about what all the influences are and the factors are from different stakeholder positions. By sitting this course, you'll gain that understanding and you can avoid that risk. And you can then consider what policy is best for you as an airport, as a coordinator, um, as a civil aviation authority. You can consider what is going to be best for your circumstances and how that interacts with global networks, connectivity, um, and to avoid, for example, bilateral risks if you get it wrong. Don't forget that every airline is operating between two, um, two different airports. And so you need to have some form of consistency. Um, and understanding that consistency is absolutely essential if you are in a position for considering or setting policy and regulation. What is key to this course is to be able to have an informed understanding and to be able to have um, an informed conversation about what the policies mean about what is included in the Worldwide Airport Slot Guidelines and why. This course is a benefit to any, anybody who is in a position where they need to understand the policy behind the Worldwide Airport Slot Guidelines. In particular, um, this course will be especially beneficial to civil aviation authorities and to regulators who are setting the policy for their countries. But it goes further than that. Um, we need to consider airports, airlines, SOC coordinators and also schedule facilitators.